It was as early as 1636, just a decade after the colonization of Barbados, that Barbados became the first colony in the Caribbean, if not indeed in the Americas, in which the parliament made a determination that all Africans arriving on the shores of this colony from here on in must be used and recognized as the property of their owners forever. Unless there was specific contractual circumstances to the country. So, 1636, Barbados leaves the way in the Caribbean, in the Americas, and defining African peoples as the property of other persons for life. In other words, not for three or four or five years, but for the remainder of their lives. This becomes the critical legal contribution to the rise of international big business and commercial capitalism. Because now that the labor input is recognized as property, investors are now placed in a very strong position to make significant capital investments in slavery, to import thousands and millions of Africans because they now believe that their investment is safe, secured by legislation. This is now the parliamentary position and therefore slavery is placed on a firm business foundation. Thank you.